I'm sure I do. Oh, tea is available under the specials menu. I don't get a dime from the tea shop. That is just for you guys. I know some people need to restock. A lot of stuff is out of stock because of quarantine, but there is still some stuff there that you guys can grab. And thank you to anybody who does. Um, do, 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 do. What am I missing? October. Uh, October signups are not signups. October suggestions are currently ongoing. Uh, to, this year's theme for October is more than a feeling, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be doing the, uh, October fundraiser in August and September, as we always do. Um, and depending on how much we raise, I'll probably do some for charity this year because we raised a lot last year, though I need a lot of money. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Um, also, while I get into the game, I have a question for you guys. Let me, let me jump in and, uh, and we'll talk. So we're finally getting into Neo. Hi, it's been ages. I don't know how much more of Neo we're going to play, but we'll see. Okay, that was very clearly a map that just fell out of my hat. So apparently our sub icons uh, now appear if someone gives a sub or uh, resubs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's on gifted subs or if it's just on resubs. We'll see the next time somebody subs or, or gifts. We'll see if a, a mask falls into the hat. Anyway, I don't know uh, how much more of Neo we're going to be playing. We're pretty early in the game, but honestly, it's frustrating me. I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls, and I'm kind of over it. Uh, we will come back to Neo if that happens. I'm thinking what I might do is... Um, in December, go back and finish games that we didn't finish, or games that got updates. Uh, play those again. Uh, but what I wanted to ask about... <clears throat> excuse me. Was... When do you guys want to do Hollow Knight? Because that is also a Souls-like game. And if I'm a little bit Souls-liked out, I don't want to do it too soon. Also, I'm curious... Um, do you guys want to play Final Fantasy VII? Um, I've been researching Final Fantasy VII... I don't have a lot of nostalgia for it. I don't have... Uh, I, I never played the original. But the remake came out yesterday. And I've been researching it a bit. And... I think I like Final Fantasy XV better. But... I don't dislike. Seven. And if that's something you guys want, we can have that conversation. I'll look at chat after I kill this guy. If I kill this guy. what people says. Sim says, I'd wait a few months for, for uh, Hollow Knight. Fair enough. And Avenger says, yeah, wait for Hollow Knight for a while if you're tired of Souls-like games. Get the chance to get the genre out of your system before doing something similar. Yeah, I love Souls-like games. It's just, it's a lot to front load. I'm gonna be real. Uh, Trisco says, I'd really like to see you try out Final Fantasy 7 because I think you'd be interested writ large. That said, uh, I've heard the first installment is short. Like, you might get a week or two of playthrough with your schedule also say wait on Hollow Knight. As much as I adore Hollow Knight, it's a frustrating game. What do you mean installment, Triscare? What, um... What? You've heard the first installment is short. What are you on about? Final Fantasy VII is episodic. So, like... 
they release a couple chapters and then like free updates later as they finish it? Like they do with um, the DLC of 15? Is that what you're talking about? Or is it something different? Ah, and killed me outright, of course. You don't know if it's free installments or not? Well, then how are they doing updates? I'm confused. FF7 might be good to do after hot deck out of bed. I missed that. Sorry, Celtic. Um. So my other question. When is... When is it going to be fully released? Does anybody know? Because, yeah, like, that is definitely the type of thing that I would just play all at once. Does anybody know when the, the final installment of Final Fantasy VII would be out? Have they, have they released that information? No one knows about the full release. So it might never come. Hey, Joma. Welcome in. It's been better, Joma. I've been I've been down for a couple days because of uh, technical difficulties and biological difficulties. Um, but I'm back now, and hopefully we can we can truck for a while. It's been a minute. How have you been? But yeah, I'm I'm always wary of episodic games because you know, the likes of EA might get a hold of the dev house and we never see the end of those games. I hate that stuff. I was looking at chat. That's 20 for those two deaths that are you guys. Jomla M. It seems someone in the court has their eye on you. I've got your invitation right here. Your table is waiting, my friend. Welcome back to the masquerade. Where well, the party never stops and you'll always find good friends beneath other flowing goblets. Thank you to an anonymous gifter for your continued support. Thank you, Jomla, for your subscription. And support that does allow me to do this every day for you guys. What the hell? What? We have a fantastically generous sub gifting community on this channel. Well, I appreciate the thought, Gumla. But uh, you gotta be pretty quick to get around this gifting community. We've got a very, 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 very generous community uh, in the court of the present. It's very hard to get one over on them. But thank you all the same. Punch in the face. Um, Sib says, I was right, that is what they're called. What are you on about, Sibs? But yeah, we're discussing where we want to go from here. So yeah, FF7 at least until the remake is finished, if it's finished. And then we'll go from there. So we've got Control, 
And then after control, I'm not sure. Remind me what these are. Wait, the original Final Fantasy VII is only seven hours? Really? Huh. I expected more. One second. I'm gonna stop looking at chat and just kill this asshole. There we go. Okay. Sib says the yokai with long necks. I said in earlier streams, it made me think of uh, Roku Rokubi, and that's what it turned out to be. Yes! They are Roku Rokubi. We've already looted this area, so I'm not really too concerned about, like, looking around. I'm just trying to make progress. This is where we were getting stonewalled. Not here. Like, this upcoming little bit is where we kept getting stonewalled. So I would love to advance if we can. If you're not going to come down, I'm not going to waste my time on you. She almost says, I bring good news, though. Go on. You now have your own room. Nice! Congratulations, friendo. Fuck. Big man's coming. Viking. Welcome into you and yours. Got him. Cool. Good, good, good. This guy ain't dead, is he? No, he's right there. Now he's dead. Great. Treskier says, thank you, Warner, uh, thank you, Kelsey Wolf, for that host. Treskier says, originally, Final Fantasy VII was anywhere from 40 to 100 hours, depending on play style for the full game. Final Fantasy VII Remake, no one has any clue yet. Fair enough. So what's this game about? It is feudal Japanese history meets Dark Souls. It's the sequel to Neo 1. I loved Neo 1. Neo 1 was my favorite um, Souls-like game for a while, and then Sekiro Shadows Die Twice came out. Um, this is the sequel to it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> but it's hard. Bella Button with the host as well. Thank you kindly, Bella Button. Welcome into you and yours. Yokai Zone. Do I have a lantern fruit pod? No is the answer. No, I do not. Okay. Let's go ahead and use one of these lilies then.
Gotta clear this area out. It's made by the guys who made Dynasty Warriors. Jomla, if you're at all familiar with Dynasty Warriors. So it's got a little bit more <clears throat> floating combat. Um, it's beautiful. It's not by, you know, the original Souls devs, but it's really good. And it takes place in alternate history Japan, so, like, what's not the love? Guy Gabby says, yes, hooray, something other than D&D &D to appease my unending boredom. Welcome in, Gamzy. Kind of you to join me. I'm doing my best to be back. How you doing today, dude? We're actually just talking about what to play. Oh, fuck. That's a snack. We're actually talking about what to play after Neo. Uh, if you would like to join that conversation. Oh, fuck. Do you mind? We're gonna do control almost certainly, but then after that, I'm not sure. But thank you, Bella Button and Guy Gamsey, for the host as well. If I didn't say it already, I don't remember if I did or not. Is that a shrine? It is. Hmm, interesante. Okay. There is a down and an up. There's also that guy. That was not enough to clear this area out. Okay. There's still more here. This looks a little final area i I'm gonna double back because I think there's loot outside that I missed. This looks like important. So let's come back here in a minute. Go this way first. Just make sure that we've done everything there is to do. There's a Kodama over here, so definitely worth doubling back to. Can't open this, I assume. Cannot. Okay. What are you dying, Gracie? Is it down over there? Might be a shortcut of some kind. We'll get the Kodama in a minute. Another one of those fucks. Okay. Get the Kodama first. Kodamas are the most important. That's not all of them. Okay. You do hear a wolfo. I also hear a wolfo. Tomorrow is Easter, is it? But me. I did not realize. Okay. Don't be a Tengu. I can deal with an Enki. I can deal with an Enki. Cool. Exorcist Greaves chest in here. Mimic? No. Castle gate key. Okay. Cool. You are a yokai. 
Nothing for my hand cannon. Get back before I aggro him. Swap my hand cannon for my... Rifle. I'm out. I'm completely out. Okay. There's two of them! Fuck. Okay. New plan. Oh, you're just a regular old human. Wait a minute. Oh, God. I thought he was a snake bro. He is not a snake bro. He's just a dude. Why are you here, friend? There's yokai all over the castle. What? Kind of skipping this, this uh, kind of skipping Easter this year meal-wise, so stretch Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, Birch Mila says, for once, Birch Mama and I are actually doing our traditional noms because she found fake ham among the free hams at work. Cool. Go. I mean, regular old ordinary humans I can deal with. Y'all ain't no thing. Case in point. Um, thanks for the arrows, friend. What's in here? A Sudama. Hey friend, do I have a purity item to give you? Imbue corruption. Imbue corruption. Give me a second. Corruption. I'm looking for imbue purity to give to the Sudama. Imbue purity. Here we go. He was looking for adventure, says Celtic Wolf. Nice. I'm betting he didn't find it. Castle gate key used. What are you? Are you a dude? Yes. You are an ordinary, regular old dude. Huh. Okay, so that's forward. Let's deal with this yokai zone. Because there's a shrine up here, and if we can purify this area and get the shrine without dying, then we never need to do the Snowclops bullshit again. So, let's make our way through here now that we got that Kodama very carefully. We've got eight elixirs. We've still got a Sloth Talisman. We've got full... Um... Anima, and we've got a full... Uh, yokai shift gauge, so we should be okay if we're careful. Celtic Wolf says Sudama, is that how you spell that, and how are they different from Kodama? Sudamas are... So, all suffix dama that we have seen so far, Kodamas and Sudamas, are spirits of objects. They are spirits of... <laughs> Hold on. Sudama. しろなと幾らでも落としてみせましょう。霊石の力に頼らずとも私の力を持つか言ってくださればいなばやまの城取り半兵衛なりの忠義心だったんじゃがのまあ心の誠なぞ往々にしてうまく伝わらぬもんじ
wooden objects. Uh, Sudamas, as I understand, we read a we read a thing about it, but I don't fully remember. Fuck. Um, we read a thing about it that says, "Uh oh." Hi, <laughs> Twitch just said your stream doesn't exist anymore. Uh, am I still live? Just checking. Are we good? Anyway, um. Thank you, chat. Um, I want that Kodama. I also remembered that we're here to take this castle, which means once we clear out this yokai zone, there might be a boss fight, which means I should probably do the back of the castle first. Um, and also, I don't want to fight that snake row yet. Um, Sudamas are when the object is mistreated. Celtic. Um, so when an object is mistreated, the spirit will turn into a Sudama. They're kind of shitty as far as like powerful yokai go. They're not really capable of, you know, killing dudes. Uh, they try, but if you don't mean them any harm, they don't mean you any harm. That's pretty much how that works. Uh, so you give Sudamas something that they like, and they give you items, and Kodamas give you blessings, because they're they're basically gods. I say spirits, but the word is is technically gods. Um, but it, that's a that's a language thing. Guy Gamsey says, I think if I think right, objects made from living materials can become good or bad spirits, depending on the treatment of something. Kodama are often objects abandoned, and that's why we have uh, to find them like we do. Mm, yes and no. But yeah, Gamby and I basically said the same thing. Small K comic, yes. Where's that dude? There's also this thing, which they're calling a scampus, which is not an uh, Japanese word. So I have no idea what these guys are. They're cute, though. I swear I saw a dude. There he is. Hello, friend. I am here to fuck you up. Hi. Do it. Bounce his head off the floor. We're done here. So this is up. I don't know if I want to up yet. I want to be careful and not accidentally boss fight. I guess I gotta go fight that snake, bro. I don't want to, but I will. Oh, hey, little bro. All of this mission's Kodama spirits have been guided to the shrine. 100 XP, quest complete. Celtic Wolf says, I do find history super fascinating, so if I ask too many questions, I'm gonna say sorry in advance. Celtic Wolf, you must have this community confused with a different streamer's community. There is a codex. We will discuss the codex. It just so happens that this game's codex sort of is a history book. So I am completely fine with you asking as many questions as you want. The worst you're gonna get is, you know, I'm not sure. What is down? Is that an Enki? I don't know what that is. Going for it. Yep, it's an empty. There's two of them, and I died in the worst possible place. Ten. I was in high stance. I didn't want to be in high stance. I thought I'd switch back to mid stance. There's also a second Enki in the corner that I didn't see, so that was shitty. And now we have to do all of that again. 
We can't even level up yet. Do I have any Emerita crystals? No, is the answer. Alright, let's keep moving. Celtic Wolf says, fair enough, but maybe I have a bad habit of saying sorry for lots of things, and I'm gonna break you of it! How did that crushing go for you, friendo? Yeah, just says I found stuff saying this campus is similar to Oboes and not to Oboes, but it doesn't list anywhere what it's based off of, so I think it was an addition born of assumption that there must be something of that nature. Yeah, no, cute fat cat that follows you around is very much a video game thing more than a traditional Japanese thing. Which, you know, if you look at the, the gaming nomenclature, it makes sense. I wasted that. Turbo bitch! the range on these things. I was exploding a bit. One second. Oh, I gotta deal with this first. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Check, check. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, three, four. Are we sorted? I've been fighting with my mixer all day, Gamzee. We good? Birchmila says, I'm still not entirely convinced one of the devs didn't find the Sushi Cat Flash game and think, yeah, we, that could totally be a yokai. I mean, that's totally possible. You sound fine. Thanks, chat. There's a Scampa Spirit Core, and yeah, it, it is the thing that, that summons the demons, that's true. I didn't know there was a Scampa Core, that's funny. Rude. It cleared up a bit before you tried to fix it. Like I said, I've been fighting with my mixer all day. Thanks for dealing with it, though, guys. Big round cat reminds you of Totoro. Isn't Totoro a hamster? I actually haven't seen my neighbor Totoro. Um, I need to sit down and watch it. But... Isn't Totoro... Like, not... A cat. Am I crazy? Lift. 
That's where it looks like a cat, in your opinion? I mean, I'm not concerned about what he looks like, because, yeah, I mean, I agree with you, but I'm concerned with what he's actually supposed to be. I am not fighting you in a yokai zone. Hell no. Stop it. Kill the other bro? I must have, right? Because he's not here. Tanuki, cat, and owl. Interesting. Thank you, chat. Chat is best chat. I cannot shoot through that. Good to know. Hello, dweller. Might as well make use of my lightning thing. I don't think it's specified what Totoro actually is. Oh! Well, today I learned. Am I exploding again? My mixer is going crazy. I hope not. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Not exploding? Okay, great. I'm gonna worry about it then. So there's... Oh, it's not another Enki. Huh, interesting. Okay. Let's do this! Him the hell down. Oh, it's a mage, bro. Get out of here. Ah, smithing text Karoka spear. Nice. Purified all of this, which is awesome. Great, great, great. We're not doing anything wrong? I don't know about that, friend. What was the... What was the movie... There was a movie that caused Studio Ghibli to be a thing. There was like a precursor movie... And then Studio Ghibli was like, we might be onto something here. I don't remember what movie that was, though. If I hit this, the Snowclops outside is going to respawn. I don't want to do that just yet. Clear this area out first. Or more accurately, I want to clear the outside. The problem is the outside has an up, and I don't know if that leads to the boss. Nausicaa? No, Nausicaa was made by Ghibli. There's a movie that it's not a Ghibli movie, guys. It was made from a schism. 
in uh because of some prince of egypt maybe it might have been prince of egypt actually um that uh it, it was made as a schism and after the movie finished a bunch of the developers left and went and made studio ghibli I think it was Prince. Yeah, I think it might be Prince of Egypt. Prince of Egypt was DreamWorks. I know. I know. <laughs> it was. Yes, it's not. A, it was before Studio Ghibli existed. <laughs> percent sure it was Prince of Egypt. Holds Prince of the Sun? I... Again, it was not... It was not a Ghibli movie because Studio Ghibli did not exist. Okay, let's go outside first. Sibs, what movie caused the schism that caused uh, Studio Ghibli to be a thing? Was it Prince of Egypt? I'm like 90% sure it was Prince of Egypt and chat doesn't believe me. Was this about Prince of Egypt? There was a movie that caused several animators and writers and, and such people to leave its dev house, and those people made Studio Ghibli. And I think it was Prince of Egypt. But I could be wrong. Okay, that definitely looks boss-like. Yeah, I'm not going through there yet. I want to say you're partially correct. I mean, no, it's an all-or-nothing thing, Trace. It's either Prince of Egypt or it's not Prince of Egypt. There is no partial correctness here. Actually, Google says Nausicaa the Valley of the Wind was the catalyst. Nausicaa was made by Studio Ghibli, though! <sighs> Frustration. Nausicaa cannot be that because Nausicaa has the Studio Ghibli tag on it, I think. He's got an Odachi. Yeah, it was found in nineteen eighty five. Prince of Egypt didn't come out until nineteen ninety eight. Okay, then it would okay. Then it's then it's not Prince of Egypt. Fair. But it was it was some movie. Oh fuck. was almost death. 
1896, the Castle in the Sky. Castle in the Sky is from 1896? I don't think that's right, Gamzee. All due respect, friendo. That does not seem the accurate. I'm real turned around. Sorry, guys. Hang on. I'm going to unbar this door, and if it starts a boss fight, I'm going to be livid. Keys aren't working with you? I'm sorry, dude. Do 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 ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba do 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 uh. I am not looking forward to a boss fight, let me say. If this starts a boss fight, I'm gonna be so pissed. No worries, Sibs. Okay. We're fine. There is a dude in front of the abyss. And now his head is gone. Nineteen eighty four was Castle in the Sky, Valley of the Wind was nineteen ninety or nineteen ninety six was Castle in the Sky, nineteen ninety four was Valley of the Wind, fuck's sake. Okay. So maybe I'm thinking of something else. Did... Hold on. Okay, so let me change up my question. Was there a, de a dev house that was created... Oh, it just links. Great. That was created by a bunch of people leaving after Prince of Egypt. Is that a thing? Were there Prince of Egypt devs that left after the movie and founded a different studio? Is that a thing? Oh, fuck. Okay. Don't be a tango. Don't be a tango. Don't be a tango. Don't be a tango. Fuck. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. things. Nope. It's definitely not a Tango individual, that's true. It says a group of people worked on the valley together and formerly Ghibli. As for Prince of Egypt, let me go look. It says a group of people worked on the valley together and formed Ghibli. Oh, okay. Interesting. <sighs> okay. Hi, friend. They're cool. Hot spring hype! And a Nurakabe. Soul, uh, or, uh, soul core. Take me with you, I'll squash your foes. That's adorable.
No worries, Sibs. No worries. Okay, let's go rest at this shrine. Because all of the bullshit, <clears throat> excuse me, has been dealt with, and I don't want to deal with it again. So let's go rest the shrine. There we go. Got a bunch of soul cores. Deal with that after the mission. What were we working on? We were working on getting magic to 35, it looks like. Great. Let us never speak of those snowclops again. Yeah, exactly, Virchmila. Do 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 do. Not finding anything, but then again, it's DreamWorks stuff. I mean, I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Do do. Okay, and now we are the up here. And all this herbal remedy—that's a big heal. That looks like a boss fight door. Before we go through the boss fight door, what is the over here? Nothing. Okay. Time to get absolutely destroyed. Here we go. Nice horns. I'll respond to that in a second, Trishka. Oh, it's a human bro. Okay. He's a shiftling too. Got him! 100 XP price slaughtered. Mortal Soul Core? That's new. Did I just first try that, boss? Did I just first try that, boss?
Tracecare says, nervous about going to the shelter and potentially making the wrong choice on a snap judgment. Let the animal pick you. Trace scares. Let the animal pick you. Gagamps says, aha, I've got something. Jeffrey Kottenberg had frequently suggested an animated adaptation of the 1956 film The Ten Commandments while working for the Walt Disney Company, and he decided to put the idea into production after founding DreamWorks Pictures in 1994. To make this inaugural project, DreamWorks employed artists who had worked for Walt Disney Feature Animation and Am Amblimation, totaling a crew of 36 people from 34 countries. Ah, so Prince of Egypt called to schism with Disney, not Ghibli. And those two kind of rhyme. That's why it got crossed in my brain. Hey, Edgy Draco. Did I see Edgy Draco pop in? Thought I did. No, I didn't. Never mind. Thank you very much for the kind words, guys. Where's my go forward? There it is. Three days, three days of nightmares don't help. No, they never do, Sibs. But try to get some rest when you can. Ah. Uh. First, tried the boss. Phase two. <laughs> It's us. What? Hello, us. Hey, Delta. Ew. You. That's the dude who killed our mom. Hey, girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't go to the house. What's up, bro? <sighs> He's got a lot of tags, this guy, Gamzee. Listen, it's not tags. Persevere one says, hey kid, whatever happened to Harpley? Who? I believe you might have me confused with someone else, Persevere. Um, there was apparently someone else who had the name Sharp-Eyed Kitsune on some other websites years ago. It's not me. Uh, every so often somebody will come in. I'm afraid I have no idea who Harpley is. But welcome in, friendo. The Hollow Fortress. Togashiro seems to be very agitated about the spirit stones going missing, but it is it is of little concern. Yoshitatsu's collapse, the terrible state of the castle, uh, was it all caused by overuse of the stones? Hmm. Just like that dagger of yours and the glow of this talisman of mine, this world is full of mysteries. As Tokushiro says, Nobunaga's conquest of Mino has finally reached his end, and now it seems he has shifted his focus to the west. Mortal Soul Core. What does this do? It doesn't do a damn thing. It gives some some gold earned, and that's it. Okay. Weird. You now you can now have two guardian spirits active at once. Your primary guardian spirit will function as normal. Your secondary guardian spirit will grant the, you the protection that is marked with the icon. However, its effect will be less than when it's active as your primary guardian spirit. During a mission, you can press R1 plus L2 to switch your primary guardian spirit and secondary one. Interesting. The Twilight mission has changed. We need to do the Viper and the Butterfly. And we need to do the Tsunamata Yokai Hunt. Okay, we apparently have a lot to do. Yeah, it'd be Sake, not Tej. It, it, it's Gamzu being cute. 
Let's head to the hut, see what we have. Uh, manage equipment sets? What? Whoa! Cool! So you could have, like, a PvE loadout and a PvP loadout. That's super useful. That's very useful. Tresco says, dipping out to go to the shelter back in a while. Later. Got a bunch. Uh, let's go ahead and mark this off first. Don't need to worry about that. Character directory. New thing from the protagonist? Yes. The protagonist is granted an audience with Oda Nobunaga in Hiyosu Castle. After managing to kill Imagawa Yoshimoto during the Battle of Oke Okehazama, the protagonist and Tokushiro officially enter Nobunaga's service. They perform many remarkable feats during this period, building a castle in Tsunomata to aid Nobunaga's invasion of Mino, enlisting the help of the brilliant tactician Takenaka Hanbei. Takenaka Hanbei, uh, and participating in the attack on Saito Dosun's army, Yoshitatsu at Ina Inabayama Castle. During this last battle, the protagonist defeats Yoshitatsu in the castle keep and learns that their dagger and Mumio's necklace share a mysterious connection. Cool. Nothing new for Tokushiro, Mumio. Having saved the protagonist and Tokushiro by chance when they meet again, Mumio joins the two on their journey, lending her aid from behind the scenes when they become vassals to the Oda clan. During the siege of Inab Inabayama Castle, the protagonist's dagger and the sword guard that Mumio wears around her neck as a talisman appear to resonate with one another, glowing brightly. Yeah, we get it. There's going to be a love story there, but thank you. Uh, did we get... We did. We finished out uh, Yoshitatsu's story. The Oda forces began to advance on Inabayama Castle, intending to capture Mino. The day before the castle fell, the protagonist, bearing the striking resemblance to Yoshitatsu, arrived in the castle keep. Before he could say anything, Yoshitatsu collapsed, and the man with the staff emerged from his corrupted body. Yoshitatsu had been enthralled by the spirit stones, and the man with the staff had seized upon the weakness in Yoshitatsu's heart to consume him. It was a truly miserable way to go. A long time ago, Saito Dosan, who had once gone by the name Hidetatsu, had bestowed the names Hide and Tatsu on his two children. This is why the name Hide is inscribed upon the protagonist's dagger. Ah, I was wondering about that. I don't believe we got anything else yet. Oh, we did. We got Hanbei. Takenaka Hanbei is a military commander of Mino Province, modern-day Gifu Prefecture. While serving the Saito clan, he managed to skillfully fend off the Oda clan's attempts to invade Mino. He is known as an uncommonly brilliant tactician. In one famous account, it is known... He is known to have captured Saito clan's Inabayama castle with barely any men at all, all the name of proving to his master that it could be done. After Saito Dosun's death, Hanbei left the service of the Saito clan and began to lead a secluded life. It is during the self-imposed exile that Tokushiro and the protagonist invite him to join their cause. While Hanbei initially declines the request due to his frail physical condition, he has already heard rumors of the unusual pair... Uh, of the unusual pair and shows interest in them. He is convinced that Tokushiro is who he says he is when Tokushiro uses the ability to cleanse Hakutaku. Hakutaku, that's a fun one. Hanbei's guardian spirit and mentor of corruption. As Hanbei's illness is starting to show signs of proceeding, he agrees to help the Oda clan with his invasion of Inabayama Castle. Persevere One says, Kit, I think she was called Harmi. She used to stream and come here, I believe. Are you talking about Harmacist, Persevere? Um, because I haven't spoken to Harmacist in years. No particular reason. Uh, we just kind of went down different paths. Uh, I don't have any idea. Uh, if, if that's who you mean, I, I don't know what happened to them. I know they streamed for a bit, um, and had a lot of fun. I didn't know they changed their name to Harpley. Um. But thank you for clarifying. Um, I'm, I'm sorry I can't help you. I just don't have the information. Oh, Takenaka, or sorry, I believe his first name is Hanbei, uh, is going to have uh, a major part in the story because he's got two more things. That's pretty cool. Toshie is not done yet. I cannot get over how much this guy looks like Goro Majima. <laughs> Keiji... And then yokai illustrations. And he is done. 
Dweller. The pickaxe carried by many dwellers is the last trace of their former lives as miners. The sight of a dweller swinging its pickaxe wildly as they attack is unsettling enough, but one without its axe is even more terrifying. In this state, they abandon all pretense to humanity, scrambling on all fours and leaping at intruders like savage beasts. Persevere says, yes, Harmless. Well, you're welcome to hang out with us, Persevere, if you're of a mind to do so. This is the channel that focuses on lore and storytelling, uh, world building, role playing, things like that. We do video games in the afternoon and tabletop role playing games in the evening. I try to stream every day, uh, playing through Neo right now. We've got our Witcher tabletop story uh, tonight, uh, The Ballad of Silver and Steel, if you're at all interested in that type of thing. Uh, you are, of course, welcome to come and go as you please, but I would be remiss if I didn't in invite you to have a seat by the fire and enjoy yourself here. And again, very sorry that I couldn't assist. Toxic Slime, Aberrant Soldier, One-Eyed Imp. Celtic Wolf, are you still in here, by the way? Because if you are... Sudamas are on this screen, so when I get over to Sudama, we'll read about them again if you're in here and want to hear about it. Roku Rokubi. These yokai feature elongated necks, although they are indistinguishable from regular humans when their neck is retracted. This enables them to blend in with regular society, so much so that it is said that Roku Rokubi do not even realize they are not human. In such cases, the Roku Rokubi often learn of their true nature from people who see the yokai's necks elongate while they sleep. Hey, Celtic. Give me just a second, we'll get to uh, Sudamas and we'll answer your question. The Snowclops are one-eyed yokai that leave bizarre, leave behind bizarre tracks in the snow, a single, a trail of single footprints that ends abruptly. Snowclops are also believed to possess the ability to control the snow and ice, although not to the level of Yukiona. Kuroka. Oh, these are the mage bros. Kuroka were once lone old stone lanterns and are considered a type of soup. Sukumogami, Sukumogami, an item that has acquired a spirit. When a stone lantern that has long remained in disuse is suddenly found lit of its own accord, it is said to be the work of a Kuroka, or possibly a sign that a Kuroka is nearby. A Kuroka's flame strikes fear into the hearts of all who see it, for it is believed that they are un uh, that these unlucky few will die within days. Mizuki, Gozuki, and then uh, Yatsuno Kami, Kamaitachi. Onryoki, a huge red oni born from a pack of angry ghosts. Half of its face is contorted in anger, the other twisted with grudge. The faces of the countless vengeful ghosts appear across its body, letting out shrieks that sent terror down the spines of all within earshot. We're gonna have to fight his ass a few more times. Kodama Sudama. Here we go. A Kodama corrupted by the Dark Realm, or Twilight, is transformed into the unquiet spirit known as an Aratama. Fortunately, the Sudama does not show a predilection for violence, as its original form never bore ill will towards men. Instead, it displays an unusual attachment to all manner of material belongings. If you don't mind relinquishing something you own, toss it to a Sudama and see what happens. While the Sudama shows great interest in human possessions, each one can favor vastly different things. A Sudama that receives an item to its liking will demonstrate immense happiness, and has been known to gift its benefactor with a precious item in return. The converse is also true. One who presents a Sudama with something it despises will incur its monumental wrath and invite punishment from their transgression. To lose one's life in this way would sadly and surely be some cosmic joke. As with all other things in life, pranks on a Sudama should be carried out in moderation. There you go. It's a corrupted Kodama. Let's hit the shrine. Yeah, hope that helped. By the way, any new friends who might be joining us for the first time, wondering why I'm sitting down and reading everything like that, welcome to the channel. I built my channel on reading codexes and talking about world building and stuff like that. I love that type of thing. And there is a lot of streamers who will just overlook that. And I personally think that it is a grave error. Do do Faster key recovery when an enemy killed. Life drain on strong attack. 
Damage bonus, enemies defeated, active skill key consumption minus. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. Let's see, none of these are as good as our Master Archer's bow. That's better. So we want to unlock, you know. I wish that I could equip stuff from this screen. But I can't. But I do need to swap that out. And then we'll take out both of these. Okay, we are currently using the Ferryman set. Which is here. I'm gonna hold on to the Kodama Bowl. We don't need to hold on to the Merchant's Headband anymore. Yamabusi headgear, con and skill. Definitely don't want that one. Easy target B plus? What does that do? Uh Enemies will be more inclined to attack you rather than your allies. Eh, not really what I need. Master Archer's hat we can't use. Eh. Unreoki helmet, very cool, but we can't use it. This is so much worse than our current one. If we can't use it, there's no sense in looking at it. Although the Exorcist set, nah. Don't really care. Genryu's helmet we can't use. Let's see. Yeah, I, I still like the... The ferryman set the best, but I think it's gonna be a bit before we find something new. Maybe something here. What are we using currently? We're using a yellow set, but it does give on me a magic power. Yamabusi Hakama. Oh. Minus 4% dodge key consumption. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let's lock this. We'll switch that out. It's got more defense on it, too. Great. That's slightly better. Uh, what are we using here? Purple. With dodge, toughness, and unmeal magic power. I don't think we're going to get better than that. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Anima charge. And Rita. So we're using treasure sensor and Kodama sensor here. Nothing we want. How are you finding this game so far? Difficult. Very difficult. Um, there are people who will breeze right through it and think that I'm insane for finding this game difficult. And that's fine. But I am definitely finding myself struggling more than I would like. Um, it doesn't help that I've played a bunch of these games back to back recently. I played Surge 1 and 2. I played uh, Jedi Fallen Order. And I played this game. 
So I'm a little bit Dark souls out, you might say. But on the whole, I'm still enjoying the game. Let's wait really quick. Let's let's attach our new uh, guardian spirit. First guardian spirit. Secondary guardian spirit. Here we go. Uh, let's do Roku Gezo as our second, and then attune spirit cores to Roku Gezo. We get the fireballs. I'm switching that up immediately. One second. Kamaitachi. And... Enki. What? No. Um... Go back. Give me my Kamitachi. Why can't I put this in the second slot? Change slot. There we go. Great. We switch back over here. Wait, what? No. So kind of you to join me. There we go. Then we go back to you. Exchange soul cores. I'm gonna switch out the Infernal Oni... Or no, we'll switch out the Oniroki for the Kuroka. Because that's really good. That's really good. Also, Blessed Raven with a host! Welcome in. First Miller says, Dying eggs always seems to take forever when you gotta hold the eggs still. Yes, it does and it is. Blessed Raven says, Hey, how is the kid? It, the kid is good, Blessed Raven. Back to it after too long away. Glad to be here. Persevere says, I don't think anyone breezes through. I, you and I follow very different people, my friend. But I appreciate the kind words. Don't misunderstand. We'll hold on to the Roku Rokubi. We'll hold on to the Yatsunokami. Here we go. And actually, I'm going to switch this. to you, and I'm going to switch this to you. So we have four phantom cores equipped, which should be nice. We'll hold on to the... Mm. We'll hold on to the Count Maitachi, we'll get rid of the Enki. So this gets us skill points. Uh, let's see, Blessed Raven says, Miss the best bard, you know, it's not much, but in his name I call for a toast. Well, thank you, Blessed Raven. That's 10 XP to everybody in chat on Blessed Raven. It is very good to be back. Don't misunderstand me. It is definitely very good to be back. Merch Mila says, who are you toasting, Raven? I believe me. There's 35. Great. Great, great, great. Let's work on getting our constitution up next, because we need it. Uh, and then from here... Blood Raven says, for the Shrapid Kitsune, may his health never wane and may his computer never die. Um, and that's why we have the progress bar at the bottom of the screen, Blessed Raven, because my computer needs a little bit of help. But one thing at a time. First, Switch Glaive. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Damage dealt to enemies from behind. Increase by 3% when you have a Switch Glaive equipped. Sure. Ninja skills. What were we upgrading? Or were we? 
Toxic ground fire, paralytic ground fire, blister beetle powder, hemlock broth, medicine seven herbs pill, which neutralizes paralyzed. Eagle eye. When used to scroll temporarily, increase the power of your arrows. That's cool. Reduces the key consumed by dashing by 5%. Sneak attack. Here we go. I was wondering where that was. Great. Shiftling powers. We were upgrading passives, I believe. We're taking damage. Performing attacks. There we go. Less yokai uh, gauge to police him from attacking. And then, what were we doing here? Rejuvenation. Upgrade that. Twice. Great. I think we'll upgrade Sloth next. Uh, let's see about Jutsus now. We do have one more. Great. One more. So oh, Sloth Talisman is too much. Okay. Can I do another Reju? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I can do another Fire Shot Talisman. <coughs> Excuse me. That might be wise. Let's do that. Oh, we're saving Blessed Raven. Don't worry. Um, Blessed Raven says maybe we'll be able to help with computer surgery. Yeah. Well, without you guys, I won't be able to. And thank you for the blessings, guys. Good luck on the venture, everybody. That is the best way to earn channel currency. Uh, we'll keep the we'll keep the paralyzing broth for now. I need to get some more ninjutsu capacity soon. But one thing at a time. Uh, dojo. Anything new? Nope. I need more ninjutsu proficiency first. Damn. Okay. Okay. An end to seclusion. Or the Tsunomata Yokai Hunt. I don't want to do this one, but I have to. Let's go. We tried this one before, and I got bodied to a degree that I turned the game off. We'll see how this goes. Hey, Kuroko. By the way, any new friends just joining us today for the first time or been hanging out but have never heard me say it, we do have a Discord server. At some mission point, social will get you there if you want to hang out with us. Even if I'm not live, we would absolutely love to have you. Got a little bit of damage on him. Why am I at high stance? Ooh. Not nearly as good as what I'm using, unfortunately. I'm still looking for a purity switch glaive. <laughs> Blizzard Evans says I almost did a wait, what? Then I remembered I just haven't been on Discord for ages. Yeah, we've actually um tried pinging you a few times. Hilariously enough, Blizzard Raven. Um Not like you did anything wrong by any means. It's just yeah, like there's, there's a couple times people have been like, man, we want to talk to Blessed Raven about a thing. I don't even remember anything in specific right now. And you just haven't been around, and I've had to say Blessed Raven doesn't use the Discord. So if you want to join us, if you want to make a liar out of me, feel free. Thank you, Delta.
Have they patched this? Because there's fewer enemies now. I mean, they must have patched it because there's fewer enemies now. Uh, okay then. There used to be a, a, a Gaki in that tree behind us, and there used to be a big skeleton right here. There's been three updates to the game since I've played this level, uh, and they've removed enemies. They've made this, this area easier, shockingly. Lesson Ravis says, have the notifications off, as I'm in a few discords that every five seconds I'm getting a notification. Yeah. No, we, we, it, it's a very active discord, for sure. We also do sub day every month on the discord, Lesson Raven. Speak of the devil, and the devil shall appear before you. Blessed Raven, I've got your invitation right here. It seems someone in the court has their eye on you. Your table is waiting, my friend. Welcome back to the masquerade where the party never stops, and you'll always find good friends beneath other flowing goblets. Thank you, Star Dancer, for your continued support. 73 gifted subs on the channel. And thank you, Blessed Raven, for your subscription. It's support like that that allows me to do this every day for you guys. Dark Souls power! Donk! You missed, friend! Get up, let's go. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Got a bunch of ammo. Always nice. Isn't there a Yaman but no, there's a Skelly boy in here. <laughs> Sorry, it just says, heck, I forgot to make tea. Thanks for the reminder, Birchmila. BRB. Oh, we missed the... Carefully. Missed the loot over here. Are you going to fight that Tengu by yourself, bro? Because I am not over there to help you. Actually, this is a much better place to fight this Tango. We'll let our bro get body. I don't think I've ever seen that move before. He's double slowed, which is great. Oh, Tanker Sokor, nice. You can oversteep tea? Yes, it gets quite bitter, depending on the type of tea. You don't really have to worry about it too much with black tea, which is generally what our European friendos drink, but with green tea, certainly you can. Um, and it'll it'll turn the lovely floral flavors into bitter tannins, which some people like, uh, but I certainly don't. Of a lot of people who say they don't like tea and that they find it too bitter are probably making it too hot and steeping it too long, generally speaking. It's not always true, of course, but it is often true. Glad to be of service, Delta. Okay. Time for the bullshit that is this level.
I don't remember the order. I know an Umi Bozu shows up in step two, but I don't remember step one. Step one is a snake and two skeletons. Step two is an Enki, an Umi Bozu, and a skeleton. Step three is a skeleton rifleman and a snake. Step four is a Tango, I believe. All right, let's go. They have definitely made this easier. Holy shit, this is way easier than it was before. Says the fox while getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, they've nerfed this mission. Apparently, people complained about this mission. Because they've nerfed it. Not complaining. Step three, Umibozo. No? Makes our jobs much easier. Oh, yeah. There's the Umibozo. Oh, no, it was nothing recent. Blessed Raven. There was absolutely nothing recent that needs your attention. It, I'm just saying it had come up previously, and I have had to say Blessed Raven doesn't use the Discord. That was what I meant. No, 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 I don't even know what they were on about. It's been so long. Rifle Mateer. Oh, this is so much easier than the first time. This is so much easier than the first time. A lot of these mobs that you're seeing me fight one-on-one -on -one would come all at once. Now, I don't know if that was a bug and it was meant to be like this from the start, or if people complained, but like it was almost impossible before. But yeah, this mission is much easier than it used to be. Which suits me just fine, honestly. Herbal Remedy. Nice. It might have been both. That's fair. This isn't good. It looks like he's had a lot to eat. Yeah. We do it! I think. What did we do? I'm out of soft talismans. Hello. Knock it off, nerd. I hear a snack. Ow. I see a snack. Do you mind? Go Kai Realm snack. Rude. can't move. Okay! Yeah. 
That's a one-shot kill if you're not extremely careful. See if we can slow him down. Ah, nope. Ha <laughs> ha, he got me. The F is that thing. A pain in my ass is what it is. Ten. So how much of that do we have to do over again is my question. <laughs> Looks like just that bit. Okay, good. Soft talismans, it should be easier. Putting that thing in such an enclosed space is so rude. Service says, what is that thing like it will legit give me nightmares? Um, it's a I'll show you in the in the codex. <sighs> Mission complete, 100 XP. Oh, and I owe you guys 100 XP from the No, I don't. Do I? Do I owe you guys another 100 XP for a different mission? Definitely owe you 100 XP there. Are you guys short 100? Ah, thanks. There's no mistaking it. That's the one. A yokai making a kappa steal for them. That's definitely a new one. But then a strong yokai building a weaker one is making it do their work for them. Uh, so it's not it's not so different from what humans do, right? Still, I won't let that kind of thing happen again on my turf. After all, I'm still the toughest of them all. Nice. Thanks, Kuroku. Wait a friendly kappa? Yeah. Waira. They're called Wairas. And no, they own this little core. Okay. But yeah, do I owe you guys? No, I don't think I do. An end <coughs> to seclusion. Excuse me. Oishi. Oh, this is the princess's sister. Oh no, this is Oda's sister. Uh, I came to you most humbly and asked you to hear my request. Following the discussion that he was going on with the Azai clan, I am set to wear, wed Lord Azai Nagamasa. But I fear that the road I must travel to Oe uh, Umi pardon me, is far from safe. There is a forest there that is a host of a horde of yokai. Do you think you could see fit to drive these beasts back out of the forest? Sure. You think we're good? Awesome. Thanks, Enderbender. I had a brief moment where I was shorting chat of your well-earned currency, and I felt bad, but I think I'm good. Okay. Did anybody see if there were yokai on this mission? Because I forgot to check. Son of a gun. Or Kodama on this mission, rather. Not yokai. Use the correct words, Kit. Did anyone happen to notice if there were Kodama on this mission? Let 
Lots of differences depending upon what a quick resupply for a few goodies, maybe some junk food, or wait till Monday for weekly resupply. I would wait till Monday. Unless you're completely out of snacks. Oh god. I hate those things. Oh no, it's already an arena? What? Okay. This is bad. Yes, it is. Flame on, bitch. Oh, he's doing rapid spin like a Pokemon. done yet oh we are okay good why is the battle music still playing why do i hear boss music <clears throat> all right yeah no like don't misunderstand me buzzer raven i am a munch goblin with the best of them i i snack all the time it's just Protective Vod doesn't seem to be any Kodamas here. Thank you, Enderbender. I appreciate that, friendo. One less thing for me to worry about. Hello? Unlocked. Well, I hope Missy enjoys the stream, Celtic. I've noticed that animals seem to enjoy my content. If Blessed Raven's cats are anything to go by. Rude. I get health back from water damage, so that guy just helped me. To say nothing of the truck and slot talisman. the title Wyra Cutter, Magatama, great. Another soul form, great. There's a lot of yokai in this area. Sib says, I'm back. I had some test review stuff I needed to do. Well, welcome back. Let's Raven says, okay, oh, remember, how do I give up, how I had to give up Odin to Hades? Well, last night I got woken up by meowing at my door. It was Hades. What? Well, um, welcome back, Hades? Do I have a spirit stone? I do. Just in case.
just gonna stay up there like a jerk? Oh god. Wait. Here we go. Too, bitch. Ah, ha, ha. He got me while I was animation locked. I forget their range. Ten. <sighs> that was unpleasant. Do I have a summoner candle? I do not. Okay. But I have my soft talismans back, so that's something. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Get those back. Let's go back and get our soul cores. Try this nonsense again. One down. Alright, let's deal with this guy first. Oh fuck. That would have been real bad.
Nice. Dusted. 100 XP. Mission complete. So we almost beat it the first time. I just got caught out, which is, you know, every Dark Souls player ever. You get caught out in the bad spot, and then it's just over. Thank you so much. I should be able to take that road without fear now, and it is all down to you. Although I am the daughter of a warrior, I am afraid I have no taste for fighting myself. I know not everyone approves of this wedding, but it is for the, that very reason that I wish to become a bridge between the Oda and Azai clans. I pray for the day that war is not but a distant memory, and I believe that you share that same sentiment. Thanks, lady. Great, great, great. Winter Viking says, back from Coffee Quest, looks like you are winning. Slowly but surely, we're making progress, Winter Viking, yes. What was her name? Um, I have already forgotten. We'll check in a second. The Shiftling's Wise Judgment. We'll do these side missions first, and then we'll check our codex. Uh, and I'm sure we'll have information on her uh, before we move on to the next area. Let's do it. Hey, we need to head to Sunomata right away. What started as a minor quarrel has escalated into something far more serious. Kuroku and Lord Katsue are both on a are, are both on a war footing. I've I've never heard that turn of phrase before. You're the only one that can defuse the situation, whether with words or brute force. Okay. I forgot to look for Kodama again. Ah. Good job, kid. Guys, remind me to check for Kodama before a mission, because I am terrible. No shrine immediately? Yeah, I will. I'm just looking for a shrine. There it is. Or who's our other choice? This bro? Nanda Unuska. Okay, yeah, we're we're gonna assist Yokai bro. Cause this guy's been good to us. We're gonna help Kuroko. get our life to 30 next or at least 25 <laughs> be you human you are human there's no easy way down there We have to go through this whole level? Jeez. We might. Stop dying! Oh god. Bounce his head off the floor. Hi, did you miss me? I need lantern fruit. Do I have it? I do. Great. What do we got? A chest. Got 
Got another shrine. Okay. Can't go this way. Three shrines back to back and no like clear progression of where I need to go. Whenever I keep those Kodama. What? What's up? Blessed Raven says a lot of these names I recognize from Samurai Warriors game series, which is based on Japanese history. So this is also based on Japanese history. I mean, admittedly, alternate u alternate universe Japanese history, but yeah, no, this is same concept. Hey, British. Welcome in. It's been a minute, dude. How you been? How's your stream been going? Are you still streaming? Hey, Savior Gaming. Good to see you as well. Man, everybody's coming in today. That's what I get for not streaming for a week. Hi, guys. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope your weekend is going well. British has rarely had a lot of life stuff going on. I know those feels, man. I'm streaming with advantage in 2020, so I'm doing two short streams instead of one long stream, but I've got computer issues. I've got, like, health issues, which are never going to go away. You just kind of got to roll with it. But, yeah, playing through Neo 2. I do agree, though. I do like... Um, the Jason Momoa-esque character. Um, we've got our Witcher tabletop game tonight. We've got Curse of Strahd coming up. We've got uh, Team of Annihilation coming up. Got a bunch of cool stuff. Probably gonna do control after this. Oh God. That archer is entirely too good at his job. Keepers, if we could put the spotlight on British, please, I would appreciate it. When British is able to stream, he's a good dude. Are you still in the uh, Necronomicon, British? We haven't really touched base in over a year now, so I don't really know what's been going on with you. Cool. Yeah, he's in the Necronomicon, which means he's got good taste. Definitely get my follow. Thank you, Gracie. We've been playing. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, no. Yakuza 0. Yakuza 0 is a good game. I want to do a, a full Yakuza playthrough uh, at some point. Obviously not all in one sitting, but like... I'm probably gonna start my uh, my Yakuza playthrough this year. Yakuza, not Yakuza. Speak the language correctly, Kitsune. It's the least you can do. Boop. I'm not really sure where my objective is. But I know there's loot over here. And the Xbox Game Pass is awesome. Darkest of Zero is free on it. That's super cool. Let's see what the backstab animation with the Switch Glaive looks like. Boop. <laughs> Out of all the ridiculous animations in this game, that might be the most ridiculous. Birchmila says, 
I tend to confuse Jacuzzi and Yakuza, and now I'm in hot water with the Japanese Mafia. Um, indeed. Can I not get over there? Where am I trying to get? Like, what's my objective? And Avenger says, no, that is a way to kill someone from behind, right? Hello, friend. I can need you to hacking not. Is this getting lost one on one again? Yes. Are you dead? You're not dead. Damn it. Oh, God. The thing about dual swords users is they never stop attacking. We are in a corner of corners here. Woo! Hi, friend. Nice move. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Let's go. Do, 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 Britta says, moved apartments in the middle of last year, got married. Hey, grads. Changed jobs, had some health issues myself. All of that combined has made streaming fall off almost completely. I think I maybe stream twice a month now. Dude. Keep, keep rocking on. Grads on getting married. I'm sorry about your health. My health problems are permanent, so I just kind of make do as best I can. But, yeah, streaming helps me, and I'm sure it helps a lot of other people, too, yourself included. I hope you can get back into it, but at the same time, it sounds like you've got a bunch of big stuff happening, and you should absolutely be congratulated for that. That move is so stupid. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I'm going to do it as much as I can. But my god, is that move stupid. Um. Uh, no? What did I miss? An elixir. Definitely worth doubling back to get that. Elixirs are not infinite in this game. Unlike, say, for example, Dark Souls, where you can go and, you know, you just rest at a bonfire to get all your, your heals back. It doesn't work like that in this game. You have to farm them up. They're consumable items. Definitely... Definitely something to be mindful of. Speaking of mindful, this guy's about to get a mindful of arrow. Or he can dodge. Savior Gaming 19 says a switchglaive backstab. Did you ask for no head? I did. Kindly get off my friend. Oh no! He also has a friend. <laughs> His friend also has the Kusarigama. As any Smash player will tell you, mirror matches are frustrating. Oh god! Woof! You put that Odachi back where it came from, or so help me. Anyone else? No? Good. I know. Oh, I moved into it. Good job, dumbass. How did that whiff? There we go. And then for this guy... Put your blow his head off. Job done.
Another archer, really? Bro. Bro. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Hi. Be my friend. Fun fact, much like a scampus, if you give me head rubs, I become your friend. I hit the wrong key there, but you know what? I'll take it. Do. Dunk. Bounce his head off the floor. That's about the rudest move. It really do be like that. Mimic? down this way oh just go around cool gamer mom luna i've got your invitation right here your table is waiting my friend welcome back to the masquerade where well, the party never stops and you'll always find good friends beneath overflowing goblets thank you luna for your continued support reveling with us for eight months it's support like that that allows me to do this every day for you guys. Cheers. Oh, God. Okay. We're doing this today. I hit the wrong button and I paid for it. I meant to do this. Get my demon switch glaive out. That's a round for the house. 5 XP to everybody in chat. On Blessed Raven. Cheers, Blessed Raven. Thank you kindly. Oh, he got the other guy. That's it done. I should have been using this glaive the whole time, but I didn't because I'm awful. Wow, his friend is so focused on my chest. He didn't see his buddy get shot in the face. Bounce his head off the floor. Yeah. Hey, chat question i'm gonna skip to the end on this real quick please don't expose it any more than a yes or no on this is there a purity switch glaive i know there's a corruption switch glaive and we've seen purity of the other weapons so i'm reasonably sure there is a purity switch glaive but as I have not encountered one yet, I would like, if possible, to make sure. All I want is a yes or no that a Purity Switch Glaive exists somewhere in this game.
Selective sight? Yeah, maybe savior. Sorry it took me so long to respond. Looked it up, the answer was yes. Thank you, Enderbender. Yes to the purity switch guy. Thank you, chat. Goodbye, friend. So we've just gotten exceedingly unlucky. Good to know. Oh wait, I got a I got a purple switch glaive that I'm not gonna use. Ooh, we could spin, we could drop this. The blood spider blade. Give me something good. Well, thanks. We'll rest here. We can go up, or we can go this way. Let's go this way first. See if there's loot to be had. There is loot to be had in the form of a hot spring. Take a drink, guys. It's not time again. Have a little bit of water every time the barkeeper fills your glass or other beverage of choice. Your body will thank you, and so will we. This is the way to the balls. It's open. That's probably the final area. Let's go this way first. Dude is just standing there watching you use the hot spring. Awkward. I mean... The last time he used it with us, he left the party, so I'll take being stared at. You're dealing with him. Good job, kid. Bye. Bounce his head off the floor. All right, boss fight. Remember, guys, he's a he's a water demon. He's like he doesn't get human society. He's also, you know, he's fine. Hello? Katsue. Wow, he's down already? That's rude. And now he's back up. Great. I gotta get this archer down. There we go. Good. Deal with Ninja Bro in a second. Mm. 
There we go. Okay. So then, lightning mode. Target him. Slump mode. Oh god. Soft health, and that's gonna hit the tree. Yep, this one won't. Oh, we have magic proficiency up. There we go, got him. 100 XP, pray slaughtered. If you guys heard that, that was my elbow cracking into place. Thank you, Star. The Shiftling's wise judgment. That stubborn boar of a samurai. He needs some sense knocked into that skull of his. But, very well, I suppose he gets to keep his head on that neck of his this time. Really, this must have been a very tricky position for you to have been in. I am deeply indebted to you. You can tell that fool Katsue that he should never look down on Yokai again. Ice. Alright, one more side mission in this area. <laughs> Excuse me. The Viper and the Butterfly. Savior Gaming says, I take it the Katsune likes their magic here. We're doing a magic playthrough. I'll show you. Our weapon, the Switchglaive, scales off of magic. There's no reason whatsoever not to level our magic with the Switchglaive. And so we might as well use the magic if we're leveling it. Um. So, yeah. I mean, I wanted an excuse to play a mage, but... There you go. Gamer Mom Luna has quite the XP trope. Gamer Mom Luna, are you a regular yet? Because if you're not, you have more than enough to get regular status. Up to you, of course. Princess, no. Might I ask a favor of you? The Inabayama Castle... In Inabayama Castle, there is something. A gift from my father, Master Dosun, that I would very much like you to retrieve. Since the conflict with the Saito clan broke out, I have been unable to recover it, but with your help, perhaps I can finally be reunited with this precious item. Sure, what do we got? Cool. Go ahead and uh, do exclamation point shop, Gamer Mom Luna, and that will give you all of the information that you need. Also, good luck on the venture. That's a tango walking about. Great. Ah, save your game and get it for you. Wrong stance with the wrong glaive. Good job, kid. Yeah. 
You don't need to put the uh, number out from it, Game Rom Luna, but thank you very much for becoming a regular and choosing to be a member of our community. One of the keepers will give you your chat permissions and your Discord permissions momentarily. Uh, keepers, if you're not sure how to do it, uh, Delta knows. So just ping Delta and he'll take care of it. I have no doubt. You come down here because I'm not fighting you and the snake at the same time. I'm not doing it. Got a new regular dragon. That's not it, crazy. Though good to know in case anybody wanted to know. There you go. Thank you, dragon. Can you make sure that the uh, Discord permissions are applied, too? I believe Gamer Mom Luna's name is just Luna on the Discord. I could be wrong on that, though. Hello, snack lady. Good job, kid. You did it. Game, it says so stuff to a snake and a warrior pretty much uh mage actually if you're talking about the dude that i killed right before the snake mage it's a fire mage i'm gonna go up here first but yes thank you gamer mom luna for choosing to be a part of this community i do sincerely appreciate it We've got a Tengu. The snow clops. Hey, Old Canuck, welcome in. Good to see you. It's been a minute, Old Canuck. How have you been? And Old Canuck says, killing that snake lady will go down in history. I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit this. Um, and also, I was fixing my hair, which is why I didn't do it promptly. Welcome in. Your joke is terrible, but welcome in. Okay, that says I'll try to do better next time. No, you did fine. You did fine, friendo. I am not looking forward to fighting this Tango up here. But we'll do our best. I hate Tango. 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 Ten.
Gravity is overpowered. You're right. Can I pull the Tengu down here? Maybe. Yes, I can. I was on his other side. Ugh. Imagine if he was moving at full speed. He would have hit those three moves back to back and I would have been stun locked and killed. Ugh. This game, man. This game, man. Luna says, already friends, I gotta run. Promise the kiddo I'll make a peanut butter pie with her. And she's decided she's ready to make food. That sounds delicious. Um, I would very much be interested in sampling your peanut butter pie. Um, have fun with your kiddo. And thank you for stopping by. Okanuk says, if snakes can have breasts, what are they used for? You can uh, be hit while standing on the non-weapon side. I mean, that's fair, Old Canuck. That is completely fair. And that is a potion of XP. Get your gambles in now, guys. All XP payouts are doubled for the next five minutes. Service adventures on Quinn. Can I get a refund? Unfortunately, no. No, you can't. Um, because XP payouts are still going um, from like random time spent on the channel, my victories and my defeats, uh, etc. So anything, any toasts, any anything like that, you guys get double XP during a potion. So unfortunately, no refunds. Sorry, Blessed Raven. What was that 10 for, Delta? I didn't die. It would be 20 anyway. around for the 
Oh, you asked for a round? Ah. And another, so that's, yes, yeah, so that's another 10. Delta is more on point with the XP than I am. Thank you, Delta. Enderbender says I was around thrown in there at some point. Nice. You're chatty today, Enderbender. I am not complaining about that, by the way, friendo. Please do not take that as a judgment. I'm just observing surprise. I want to drop on him? I kind of do. Can I get both of them? Oh, yes, I can. Lol. Okay, so we never have to go up to that upper area anymore. So if we die again, we're fine. Civic Gaming says, you're focusing on Switchblade and Magic Fun. It's all right, kid. Well, I mean, we're making shockingly good progress today. So, yeah, a bit. I'm going to save that for bigger yokai. You wish, friend. Independent says it's likely because of what's happening later tonight. I'm very excited for my premiere. Good. Good, good, good. Um, we do sound test in about an hour. Enderbender, get everybody in, make sure audio levels are good. And that's especially true for you. And we'll finish out your uh, character sheet then. Did you make up a description of your character while I'm thinking about it? Because uh, I haven't seen it. If you sent it directly to Parrish, that's fine. Two of them in here because this game is rude. Make sure there's not a third one. Oh, it's not a it's not a super neat like animation if it's a little yokai. That's a shame. I say you, he did. Can't open that yet. Indeed, I did. I can send it to you real quick if you want. Nope, not, nope. If you sent it to Parrish, that's fine. I don't need to see it. So long as Parrish has his hands on it. That's what's important. Oh, you haven't sent it to Parrish. Oh, okay. Then do that now. Con con uh, with, um... Send that to Parrish with, um... Reference images if you have them. Why do I hear boss music? I don't like that. What's over there? Oh, that is a Yamamba with flaming swords. I have not seen that before. Have some fire, friend. Done. Did you really think killing me was going to shut me up? I don't usually read those out, but that one's funny. It sounds like something Twitch chat would say. Oh God, what are you doing here? I cleared this area out already. What are you doing here, you fool? Oh God. I ran right into him because I had already cleared this area out. McDerpy Ninja! Good to see you. Welcome in, friend. Uh, McDerpy Ninja says, I'm alive and you're alive. Getting by, McDerpy Ninja. Getting by. Had a rough go with my health. Still got a rough go with my health. This whole quarantine thing. 
I am at risk, and it sucks. But with that and technical difficulties, I haven't been streaming as much as I would like to, but I'm back now, hopefully back for semi-good, and we can keep right on rolling. Good to see you, McGurphy Ninja. How you been? Principal Governor's Greaves. That's new. Axe user, Sasuke the Ladder Performer. It seems someone on the court has their eye on you. I've got your invitation right here. Your table is waiting, my friend. Welcome back to the masquerade, where the party never stops, and you'll always find good friends beneath overflowing goblets. Thank you to an anonymous gifter for your continued support. Thank you, McGurphy Ninja, for your subscription. It's support like that that allows me to do this every day for you guys. Cheers, friends. Steve Gaming says, someone yet who? Good question. McDermott Ninja says, I've been okay-ish. Okay enough, all things considered. Waiting on some thermal pace so I can tear my CPU in half. I'm assuming you don't mean literally. Kelsey Gold says, I love how my dog meets me at the door when I get home. Did you mean a dog? I don't know a single dog that doesn't do that. But it is nice, certainly. McDermott Ninja says, I mean, literally, I'm doing a delid once my thermal pace arrives. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm very sorry, McDerpy Ninja. I have no idea what any of that means. Civic Gaming says, or D Lid. Oh, D Lid. Okay, now it makes a little bit more sense. Thank you. Savior Gaming 19 says, the quarantine thing has got me in a wreck as well. Sleep schedule got really screwed up during this. Yeah, no, I mean, I am actually at risk. Um, if I get, if I get the, the big sick, it can be really, really dangerous. So I'm grateful, I'm deeply, deeply grateful to anyone respecting the quarantine. And, um, you know, we're all in this together. But, um, yeah, people people not observing the quarantine can make life very difficult for the Fox Park, unfortunately. So thank you for respecting the quarantine, friendos. Welcome back, Mila. You missed a McGurpy Ninja getting a sub. Oh god. Rude. I can't get out. I am trapped in this room. Heal, you fool. Ack. That would have killed me. So many times, if I didn't have my Slaw Talismans, I would be dead. What your spawn? Ah! More than one? Fall over. Good. I need those iframes. Excuse me! That's not it. Big Gaki, okay. What's this? Nope. 
Yo. Yo. These guys can actually take your head off if you're not careful. True for any enemy in a Dark Souls game, I'm aware, but still. Oh god, somebody just popped in to say hi. Who is it? Oh, it's one of these assholes. We're done, we're done. Okay, let me catch up with chat. Okanuk says, people not respecting the quarantine have a couple of terms that I have seen. Uh, <laughs> nice. I'm not going to read that out loud, but those are funny. Cubs and Wolf says, I swear, as a 14-year-old pup, Missy sp has springs in her paws. Oh, yeah. But Derp Ninja says, it involves taking, taking the protective integrated heat spreader, silver plate off the top of the CPU chip, green plate with gold contact to reapply inter uh, internal coolant. Now I know that, and I learned a thing. Thank you, Derpy. Celtic Wolf says, high five. Those people are just stupid, in my opinion, regarding the people who break quarantine. True. Derpy says, on to quarantine, I've been inside since the 8th of March. I've been inside since, like, this year. <laughs> Safer Gaming 19 says, the outside world may be crazy, but as long as the fire is lit and there is a new story to be told, you'll be safe in a humble arms as the chaos passes. My attempt on a bardic try. Hey, not bad at all and accurate. As long as I'm able to do it and you guys are interested in the story... I stream every day that my health permits me to do so. So, I'm happy to be here for you guys. 100 XP, mission complete. Birchmila, a moment ago, said, Turkey or Italian sub? Oh, cutscene, one second. そのうちに燃えるThat's Princess No talking, by the way. Possessed by Usura Hicho via Spirit Division. Nice. Yeah, but Delta, you're on permanent quarantine, mate. With good reason. I remember when I handed this dagger back to my father, unable to do with it what he had asked of me. How strange that I should hold it in my hands once again. I am indebted to you, and wish to give you my Switchglaive as a token of my gratitude. If you deem Lord Nobunaga as worthy of your loyalty, then take this weapon and let it serve you well in your duties. But should you think him a fool, well, in that case, use it to... No, this is enough. Please ignore my childish shapes. What did I just get? What did I just get? Ah! Oh. That's still really good, though, because this... Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Our armor set... We heal when we do water damage. We heal a lot when we do water damage. Every strike with this Switchglaive does water damage. Dope. It might not be a purity Switchglaive, but it's still really good. I'm into it. Are we done? Hell yeah! 
We are done! Let's go ahead and clear out all of our stuff. Gaming says it drops our damage by three, but we heal and return break even. Oh, absolutely. More staying power. Do I have a new... 363. Whoa. Oh, never mind. We're in the 400s. We don't have a new Seething Dragon yet. 304 versus 314. This is still better. But we're almost ready to replace our bow. 356, 366. Life drain on a bullseye? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Life drain on a bolt? That is incredible. New rifle hype. Delta says, I'm going to go for a quick nap before Silver and Still see you all in about an hour or later, Delta. Enjoy, friendo. Enemy sensor on the fan crest and helmet. I don't like that easy target, though. Ooh, new Kodama Bowl. Own meal magic power plus four. Enhance Kodama blessings 18%. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stick with the ferryman set for now. It's really good. Principal Governor's Kishura. Strength and uh, salmon and strength. Not for us. keep the ferryman's robes for now. So Haya Garb. That's pretty good. Yokai Slayer. Item drop rate versus Yokai. Stealth versus Yokai. Melee damage versus Yokai. Life drain on a melee kill. Whoa, buddy. Um. We'll hold on to that for now. I do quite like the ferryman set. But if I can get a good Sohaya set, I might switch. That's pretty good. Only a magic power plus seven. Plus seven on ours, too. That's what we want there. Shuriken and Kunai damage, 3%. That's pretty good. Nothing we want there. Uh, anima charge, anima charge, ninjutsu power, ninjutsu power, fire damage. Unmeal magic power plus 19. <sighs> yeah. We'll switch out the medicine case for the poison on Onomori charm.
cool. Let's see about usable items. Oh, we do have a spirit stone. Whoops. Got two herbal remedies. That's good. Got some lantern fruits. Good. That's it for now. No locks yet. Go back over here. Manage soul cores. Resting rights. Manba soul cores. We can get rid of. We're starting to get some really good phantom cores, which is nice. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, <laughs> start answer forgot her tea. CV Gaming says Celtic trying to count every boss my kit makes. There's odd stuff I may do, but it's interesting. Fair enough. Enderbender says I think I'm gonna go and make sure I'm ready for Silver and Steel tonight as well. See you all in a little while later, Enderbender. Thank you for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Cool, cool, cool. Another level of constitution. Nice. Uh, let's check the dojo. Nothing new there. Let's go to the hut. The following yokai can now visit your hut. A kappa. Change your appearance. No. Remodel hut. Visitation. Regina? What is Regina? Oh, that's the mimic. And then a kappa. Cool. I like my I like I like my doggo though. Someone's a kappa? Yes. View illustrations. We've got a bunch here. Great. Nothing new for our boy. Tokushiro, nothing new. Mumio, nothing new. Dosan, nothing new. So probably like Princess No. We'll probably have something new. Yep. Before her marriage to Nobunaga, Princess No was told by her father Dozen, if Nobunaga really is as big a fool as they say, stab him. However, upon meeting Nobunaga and observing his remarkable resolve for herself, she decided that she would walk with her husband to the ends of the earth. Doll. Oishi. Or Oichi, sorry. Oishi's something different. Uh, nothing new there, nothing new there, nothing new there. The doggo and the Kodama are the best friends. They really are. We got something new here. Oh, we got the butterflies. That's right. The striking guardian spirit is as cold as it is beautiful. Its followers swear it's vener that venerating it will protect you from ice and snow related disasters. Others believe that the Usura Hisho is a manifestation of the souls of people who have lost their lives to grief and cold. Is that a phantom type? We'll check in a minute. We got something new here. Probably the Tengu? Oh! I didn't even see this, bro! We must have we must have killed him in the in the chaos. I mean, for the HUD, I'd have both of them in my HUD, but that's just me. I can't. You can only have one, unfortunately. Biwa Boku Boku, a yokai taking the form of a monk playing a biwa lute. The biwa is the yokai itself. The monk is simply a reflection of Huishi, the biwa player whose unwise dealings with restless he uh, Heike warrior spirits cost him both of his ears. Lures intruders deeper into places of evil with its eerie melodies. Interesting. Okay. One-eyed imp, one-eyed oni, wheel monk... Karasu Tango, nothing new for the Tango. Interesting. Snowclops, Kuroka, uh, Mizuki, Gozuki, and Nenra, Atsunokami, Kame Itachi, Onryoku, or Onryoki, rather. Kurama Zuramas Campus. Okay. Cool. Great, great, great. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Samurai. Uh, bow damage. Good 
down. Ah, max lock damage. Perfect. Boop. Nice. Shiftling. Taking damage. Just like grapple an enemy. Reduces the penalty to your key recovery speed while in the dark round by 24%. Yup. Unreal magic. Can I upgrade my sloth talismans? No. My sloth talismans max out. Protection talisman reduced damage. Get a, let's get a protection talisman. Sure. Why not? Alright, let's do titles. Anima charge. And anima. Great. And key recovery speed. Great. Alright, let's move on. We are done with this area. Nice. Proceed to the next region. Let's go! On fourth, my friends. With each success, Hideyoshi's reputation grew greater. Yet for all of his small victories, he was still but a player in a much larger landscape, forced to lead the horses of his masters around for a bit. Louis Fua on Toyotomi Hideyoshi, Historia de Japan, Volume 2, Chapter 1. の あしゃりで二人で一つの名とは古今例がない。他に類を見ぬ働きが、この白二人であればできよう。まさに二王のようにな。He said the thing. しかし、
苦境こそ後期秀吉の名をさらにとどろかせるためのな Cool. That cutscene was really cool. I'm not. <sighs> What Nobunaga did with、um, with that song is really, really important. The problem is, I don't know if I can do an explanation of why he did that justice. I'm gonna try. Oda Nobunaga has always been depicted as a charismatic individual. He's known for being very ambitious, very driven, but also, like, much loved by his, by his people. When you're. This era of Japan, <laughs> there is no safe place.、Um, we think of Japan today as very, like, disciplined and modern and unified, but back in this era, Japan was basically like 10 different countries on one tiny ass little island.、Um, there was a lot of fighting, and as such, Nobunaga didn't have a lot of resources. So, you know, his men were celebrating, and he decided to risk making a jackass of himself to provide them with some entertainment before his speech. It was equal parts blessing and, like, hey, I'm like you, but also, like, I'm doing this for you, like a message to his men. That was a powerful scene, if you understand the history. It was really, really cool. And then the, the Hideyoshi thing was, was funny. Uh, because, like, the protagonist doesn't exist, right? The protagonist is not a historical figure. The protagonist is created for this game. That's why he doesn't really have a name. I don't know if Hide、um, is a dude. I don't know if there was a dude named Hide that followed around Tokushiro and, like, helped out in Nobunaga. I do not know. But I do know that Hideyoshi. Is a dude. Hideyoshi is a, is a dude mentioned in history.、Um, so that, that's, that's pretty cool. That whole scene was really interesting.、Uh, we've got another mission here. We can at least start it before I have to go. But that was a really cool scene. I like that a lot. As things stand, the Azai and Asakura forces pressing from the north and south will trap us. Our only option. Is for most of us to stay behind and buy some time so the others can escape. Problem is, that's about as high a risk as it gets. But just think, a challenge like this is the perfect way to show what Hideyoshi has got, am I right? We'll ask Lord Omanaga to let us take the rear guard and lead the retreat. With a veteran like Lord Mitsuhide and his forces on our side, we've got nothing to worry about. So come on, let's fight our way out of here and slow the enemy down. With seven Kodamas? Cool. Let's do it. Seven Kodamas and our new Life Steal Switchglaive. Not bad, all things considered. Kanagasaki, close to the borders of Echizen and Omi provinces, sits on a treacherous, in a treacherous terrain of dense forests and steep mountains. To fend off the enemies pressing from the southwest, the Asakura clan established a base here, making the area much fought over. The constant battling has devastated the hills and fields, and the area has been devoid of any human habitation. Now, only the trails of animals passing through this region suggest any hint of life. Cool. Nice Odachi, bro. Oh, man. 
もはや藤吉郎は撃たれたと見るが妥当これで乱れに霊石を用いる者はいなくなりますな奴は霊石を用いて調和を乱す男そう踏んだか手間が省けた引くぞ年光Of that shot cannot be overstated. He went through the face guard of a steel helmet with a weighted chain. That was an amazing shot. What's up? You best put that sword down, Hide. That is not our weapon of choice. Go that way. Always good to check. Pretty. Mumio Donoa, Sakini Yosemi, Mumio's got to check the path up ahead. Tokushiro and Kuroku are behind us. Hidechiyo Dono, please go ahead. Mumio Dono, follow me after. Cool. So we gotta go find Mumio. Mumio is saying that if you go this way, you can get out of the city safely. Mumio has a place of refuge that seems like a fear in the forest. It is a goat. It is a wizard goat or a scholar goat. We don't have goat bro as a spirit yet. Which is a shame. That's a puffer. It's a puffer with a crossbow! I hope y'all saw that. So, that's interesting. I've seen a few games that have crossbow puppers in them. I thought it was a trope. Um, can anybody confirm whether or not, oh god. Can anybody confirm whether or not crossbow puppers are a thing in history? Because I've seen them in both Japanese historical fiction and European historical fiction, like, like traditional, like fantasy. I've seen dogs with crossbows on their backs that the dogs can fire the crossbows. Can you train a dog to fire a crossbow? Is that a thing? Because if so, that is cool as hell. Taro the Brave. Whoa, buddy! Throw your roll. Now let's head off the floor. We're done here. High stance for axe users. It's effective. Boop. Oh, boy, have an Odachi. And a bow. Oh, no, just the Odachi. I'm a dingo. Got him. Let's double back and get that Kodama if we can. Hello, friend. What weapon is that? That's an axe. Dope, dope, dope. Let's go. 
Archer, bro. Goodbye. No kitter in tow this time, says Trace Care. Oh. Well, as much of a shame as that is, Trace, good on you for not forcing a wrong decision. Let's get the code, Dama. Hey, little bro. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I was hoping he would fall right under where I was. Jessica says, well, mostly not in tow due to delay from even getting into the shelter's doors via social distancing. I mean, that, that's fair. That's cool. Looks like we're heading in that direction. Are you peeking or is that a torch? It's a torch. Trisha says, so what would have been a 10 minute wait was slated to be an hour and a half wait at minimum. Oof. Safety Gaming says, switch, switch blade from above. Oh, wait, you can't hear me. You're, you're already dead. Uh, it's switch glaive, Savior Gaming. Um, minor, minor correction. A switch blade is a, is a butterfly knife. A switch glaive is this thing. See? Switch, 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 switch glaive. Are you peeking? Are you peeking? You do not appear to be peeking, okay? Do 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 do. You know what I haven't seen in a hot minute? A Kodama. There's a whole lot of dead dudes right here and no loot, which means that is a story element. What are they trying to show us? Oh! Okay, we're in Legend of Zelda. Hello? I hit it, whatever it is. It's gone. Or did it just return to its original position? Nope. Oh, I see it. You guys see it? It's a bird. It's a big ass bird. I'm trying to find its weak point. You know what? Fuck this bird. This bird is obviously the main mechanic of this level. This is some Lost Worlds bullshit, this right here. I agree. So, well, Switch Life isn't a real weapon, if you get me, it was made for this game. Old Canuck says, a quick check on Google does not reveal any cases of dogs firing a crossbow. It would be trivial to set up a tug bar to a fixed position crossbow to get the dog to do so, but the utility is severely limited. Sure. Lester Raven says, tried three Google searches, a lot of dogs in mythology. If I put any tip of archery into the search, I get myths on archers. Okay. Thanks, guys. I don't see its weak point. 
I'm gonna keep shooting it. This thing is obviously the main mechanic of this level. If I can get it down, great. The problem is I'm doing like two damage to it now. You can just barely see it. I'm trying to find its head or otherwise its weak point so that I can hurt it. I'm gonna let it reset and see about the scampus. Shoot it until it doesn't live anymore. That's the plan. It really wants me to go into this yokai zone with that with that flashlight beam. I'm not super into that idea. I saw its weak point. Boop. It's calling minions. It's almost dead. Just show me your face one more time, buddy. Show me your face one more time. Right there. Die! Whatever that thing was, it's dead now. <laughs> and it destroyed the yokai zone when we did that. Should we have killed that thing? No. Am I very, 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 very glad that we did? Yes. With the amount of health that thing had and the resistances that it had, we should not have been able to do that. But because we saved up our items, we got what we needed. So I'll take it. And it removed the yokai zone, so I'll take it. And no light beam, yep. Got him. made this area much easier. So I'm up there on the ledge? Yeah, but I can't get to it from this angle. I gotta go around. Don't worry, I seen it. <laughs> All of these dudes would have been hiding and stronger in the yokai zone. It would have been real bad. Hi, friendo. Oh, God. I can imagine this thing while dodging the eye beams would have been awful. Hello? Oh, hi. Purple Kodama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and a regular Kodama at that. Hey, little bro. He's dead. Time to switch up to my rifle. My new bullseye rifle that gives me health back on a bullseye, which is pretty great. Nope. Nope. Thanks for the health back. Chris, Chris, so how's Neo feel now that you've had a good few hours to get back into things? We're doing a hell of a lot better. That must have been when we killed the owl. 
We're doing a hell of a lot better now than we were before. So I'll take that. Last time I played, I was struggling. We've made a lot of progress today. We've completed like six missions or some crazy shit like that. I'm feeling a lot better about playing Neo. We got through the wall, friends. Just in time for Silver and Steel. Oh god. Oh, it, it never mind. It's just Yomamba. Uh, for some reason, I thought that was an Oniriki for a minute. Or uh, an Onryoki, whatever it's called. The Big Chain Fucker. Let's go with that. Let's go with Big Chain Fucker. I don't get a lot of health back from the scythe, but I get enough to stay in the fray, so I'll take that. Principal Governor set. Hey, little bro. What do I have for you? I have some top books. Here you go. Terminus Switchglaive. That's new. Imbue Fire. Ooh. Neat. Not nearly as good as what we're using, but neat. Shortcut. Noise. Noise. <clears throat> Hello, friend. Head off the floor. Call it a day. Where is the thing? That's a lot of dudes. Ooh, but there's a blue shrine over there. In the Okay, 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 okay. Ah, <clears throat> I ran up too much. He's quick on that re redraw. Goodbye, friend. Okay, where does this lead, if anywhere? That feels progressy. Let's go this way first. Can I get over there from here? Let's see. Yes, I can. This travel amulet, not bad, not bad. Okay. Check out this animation chat. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mean. I love it. Pop goes your head. There's a little bro in here and here. No, he's not. He's outside. Hey, little bro. Dope.
Amulet of Camaraderie. Not seen that before. Kagetora the Braggart. Hello, friend. Nice swords. Looks like Master Roshi a little bit. I got slightly younger Master Roshi. We have, like, hundreds of a Choco Cup, so... I don't mind grabbing those blue shrines whenever we see them. Oh, fuck! Ooh, flaming swords. Good choice. We saw this bridge at the beginning of the level, and I was like, ooh, that's interesting. I wonder if that Gaki was to tell me that there's Gaki hanging off the side of the bridge. What the fuck is that? It's a gibbering Malver. What the shit? I'm gonna let Kagetora deal with that. Slow it down. Shoot Kagetora, that's fine. Give me your head, asshole. There we go. But yeah, what the <laughs> what in the actual fuck was that thing? death. It was ugly, that's what it was. Fair. I found a shrine. Wait a minute. Before we go to that shrine, wait a second. How do we get up there? Looks like we circle around. Okay. Cool. Hey guys. Okay. Do I have any spirit stones? I do. Can't level up yet. That's fine. 109 elixirs in the storehouse. That's pretty great. Let's set a Kodama blessing while we're here, since we're in a new area. Oracle blessing, that's the one I wanted anyway. There's something nasty up here, I hear it. I missed. That dude would have dropped on our head and ripped out our neck, which would have turned him into a big gaki. Which would not have ended well for us. Is that it 
it looks like a poison pot. But I don't think it is. Is that death? Nope, but I can't go that way. Can go this way though. Ah, hello Yamanba. Oh, there's a chest. Shinobi box and Hiyotoko masks. Oh, it gives the same thing as our, our amulet. So if you're not doing a mage playthrough, this helps you lower yoke. Oh no! Hold that thought. Most dangerous enemy in the game, right there. One eyed imp. Holy fuck. Sorry, as I was saying, if you don't if you're not doing a yokai playthrough. Nope. Oh, it's a Tonfa user. He falls. Get through his guard. Nope. The answer is no. Tonfa users have stamina for years. Even in high stance, I can't get through it. Thanks, bro. I need to get up there and get that soul core. Oh, God. I'm out of everything? Do I have arrows? I have arrows. Okay, good. Boop. He's not dead. Not dead. Rude! They put a cannon bro on the side of a cliff. That is without a doubt the rudest thing I have seen in this game. In this game. There's been ruder things in Neo 1, but... Wow! That dude is made of rude. Be well, Boku Boku so poor. I hear a Kodama. Little bro? Where are you? Can I do this without dying? Yes! Yes, I can. Hey, little bro. Move on. I hear bullshit up ahead. Oh, fuck! The bullshit up ahead is gonna have to wait because I just saw the time. <clears throat> I got lost in the game. Uh, I gotta go, guys. So I'm going to run back to the shrine and uh, and wrap it up for the afternoon stream. Holy fuck. Thank you for making my first day back incredible. You guys, as always, are absolute beasts and masters in all that you do. Thank you so much, so much for hanging out today. 
And as you know around here, I'd like to take your attention for just a moment, if I may. I am the shop head Kitsune, the teller of tales and the weaver of mysteries, the masked bard. This is the channel that is devoted to lore and storytelling, world-building, role-playing, and discussions of those things. So if that's to your fancy, you're an excellent company here, and I do hope that you enjoyed your time with us. Don't fret. I intend to be back. I just need to go and get lunch because I have a thing in under an hour. Oops. Uh, <laughs> uh, completely my bad on that. But, um, yeah, I'll be back at 6 p.m. New York time or 6 p.m. established stream time. Uh, for Decisive Action, The Ballad of Silver and St Steel, excuse me, our tabletop role-playing game for Saturday is a Victoriana 2nd Edition campaign set in CD Projekt Red's Witcher universe. Uh, or rather, CD Projekt Red's interpretation, I should say, of the Witcher universe. I am having a lot of fun with this campaign, and we have a big premiere tonight, so I need to go and do that, and I completely got sidetracked. I'm very sorry for that. While I'm gone, while I'm getting food, I'll be hosting someone at someone who I like, someone who I hope that you all will like, and can spread some of the love that was felt here today over in their channel. And check back here, because I'm always hosting someone, and you might find your new favorite streamer that way. For now, if you want to join us on the Discord, Exhibition Point Social will get you there. We would absolutely love to have you, and I need to go and leave you with these parting words. From myself and my keepers to all of you, the regulars, the followers, the newcomers, and the lurkers, whether you're just having a seat by the fire or you've got a running tab at the bar, remember, there's always more stories to tell. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time as we get back into Neo 2 with a new chapter. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and hopefully I'll see you in a little bit, and if not, I hope to see you again very soon.